church say amen. Let the church say amen once again. You know, I got a saying. If I can control your mind, I already got your actions. If I can control your mind, I already got your actions. You know, it's a lot of men dead because they weren't thinking right behind a woman. You know, it's a lot of women dead because they wasn't thinking right behind a man. You know, somebody's wife is dead, somebody's husband is dead. And when I say this, if I can control your mind, I already got your actions. You got a lot of preachers in the pulpit. Mind controlling. I know now we know, well, can a person really get into your mind that deep? I'll let you answer your own. I'll let you answer that question on your own. Because I want to tie this in with King Solomon. David's son at the time. The man who had all the wisdom, all the wealth. And God was so pleased with that. That he blessed Solomon so hard. You'll read that Solomon was one of the wealthiest men. But he let them women control his mind at the end. Oh yeah. And God warned Solomon. Hmm. See, he had wisdom, but he still had a little stupidity in him, didn't he? See, when you're dealing with that many women, me and I hope y'all listening in this video, he had a thousand wives. Hmm. Thousand women, let me say that right. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. And when you deal with wickedness, see, some of those women was dealing with idolatry, so the mind control. And we ain't going to even say what probably would have happened in the bedroom with all that many women. But his mind got messed up and he let those women turn his heart from God. With all the wisdom and all the wealth. I'm talking about Solomon, David's son. And when a person get that deep in your mind, how many men walking around right now miserable, insecure, because a woman had got to their mind? Hmm. See, people get mad at me when I say what's between a woman's legs, got that power, and can mess your mind up. You ain't got to agree. Just take a look around. And you got some women mind messed up behind a man. What's between his legs and what he can do to the body. Yeah, you can go ahead and let the church say amen because I deal with what preachers don't want to deal with. When a person can already control your mind, your actions is already going to go toward them. And I was thinking about Solomon very hard. I thought about like father, like son in so, many, in so many ways, but one thing about King David, he was strong enough to repent. He didn't let women turn his heart from God like, he, like his son did. See, David truly repented, not like us. We call repenting, Lord, I had sex today. I slept around. Lord, I smoked today. Lord, forgive me. And we call that repenting. And then we turn around the same night, do the same thing, then pray the same prayer, same prayer. Lord, I did it again. You know my heart, Lord. You know my heart. Lord, you know how I am. God, tired of hearing that. God already know who you are because God created you. He know what you're going to do before you do it. See, we got a lot of willful sin right now. When a person get that deep in your mind, hmm, somebody strung out right now because they start hanging with the wrong crowd. I don't know how he used to be like that because he used to go to church faithfully. He was on the in the choir. Now he is a dope fiend because he have let somebody influence him. Mm. See, we got more we got more children now know rap music better than church music. And I'm not, see, many man, that's why I failed you in that video. I'm not gonna stay, I'm not gonna stand up here in the church and say everybody in secular music is serving the devil. No. Because everybody in the church ain't serving God. Uh-oh. Let me say that again. Everybody in the church ain't serving God. Everybody ain't singing to the Lord. See, we putting so much in so much emphasis on sinners now that we only act like sinners are in the world. Let me tell you something, the biggest sinner might be sitting in your front row right beside you in church every Sunday shouting out, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, might be the one that's worse than the ones that they're talking about. See, when a person digs into your mind and can control your mind, and you're wondering, why am I acting this way? I can't, I can't control my actions no more because I got to go see her. 
I got to go see him. I'm so far gone hmm, that I, I can't get back on the right track. How is it you let somebody control your mind? Or can they control your mind? That's the word for the day and the question for the day. Can a person control your mind? It's not a trick question. I just want to hear everybody's feedback because I heard a lot of debate about this. I'm not trying to debate. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to just say it like this. Can a person control your mind? Can they or can they not? Now let's flip that question around. Can the devil control out of your mind? I think we all know the answer to that. But I'm tying this in with my older video because I want to talk about transferring these spirits. They're sleeping around. These demons, these demonic spirits, these, these spirits that's flowing inside of folks. Because nowadays folks will sleep with each other and they don't even have to know them at all. Who are you sleeping with? Mm. I think it's an old movie called Sleeping with the Enemy. Let me tell you something. Anybody you sleeping with outside of who God told you to be with, you are sleeping with the enemy. See, we want to we wanna sit here and act like things ain't going on, but they're going on. So when the press control your mind. Or can they get into your mind? They can control your action. They already got you. You ever wonder how a pimp can pimp holes? Hmm. Or sound like to say whores, wars, how do you want to say it? How can a pimp get a woman on the corner to sell her body, knowing that this woman is taking a risk with her life? She got children, some of them, and she goes on that block without even thinking about it. Some might think about it. Some might just say, I just want the money. Taking the risk with your life. Taking the risk on getting Because when you hop in the cars with anybody, you play at dangerous games. How does a pimp control his hoes? I leave on that one. Peace. Stay blessed. Amen.